So hi guys, this is me making my way out. As you can see, it's a lovely day, man. It's uh, blue skies, quite a lot of wee clouds about. I think there's more coming, but uh, clouds coming in. But um, yeah, I've got my cat going up the river. Just a cheeky one nighter. Um, I think there's meant to be rain and a bit of wind and stuff coming in through the night, but yeah, it should be good that. So um, yeah, I'm just having a wee, wee quick break at the bench, and then um, I'll I'll bring you back probably when I get there. Maybe once I get set up and stuff. So yeah, I think it's going to be a nice a nice wee camp this week. Hey guys, we've got a, a new tripod in that set up, so I've got a couple of wee toys to use, but I'm just going to do a set up and uh, probably stick you on time lapse for that. We'll get it set up and bring you back. There we go guys, I've got it basically set up, I've just got my under blanket coat on and just my uh, sleeping bag and that, well, I'm a coat, fairly coat. So um, yeah, I'll probably I'll put that up, tinker with this a little bit more and um, yeah, start, start getting firewood and that together. Got some grey clouds in the distance over there now. So. I don't know whether that'll come to much or not. Yeah, we'll see as the night goes on. That's why I brought, I know it's a nice day, I brought my big tarp, but I want the coverage of the big tarp. You know, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to have brought the small one and then we do get that rain special through the night and uh, regret it. <laughs> so yeah, take the big one, I'll tuck it in tonight when I go to bed and just make sure I'm going to stay nice and dry. Well, the rain's here. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to get here that fast. Um, so I don't know if it's just a shower. We'll see. But, um, it's got a good day it's stood up. It's, it's thingy, so if it gets wet, it's not going to get soaked right through, I don't think. Um, I think we're starting a fire till later anyway. So we'll just see. Just see how it goes, <laughs> really. But I'm nice and dry, got this up the time. Had to rush this a wee bit to go out and get some kegs for this side because the wind's picked up a hell of a lot just, just in the last few minutes. Like literally the last five, ten minutes. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes later on. Got some more sun back. Still a wee bit windy though. The sky's blue. More clouds to come, so um, I think. Well, I've just been getting some you know, some firewood there and a bit more prepped under my tarp, just for later. I'm gonna cook in a little bit. Still got a wee bit more, a wee bit more process here and yeah, a wee bit more so. I don't need a huge amount today. Just really a fire for cooking, nothing nothing really else. Just thinking, I love these flowers, they're all over the place up here, these bright pink ones. They're really, really nice actually. Some more over here I think, just a pink one, slightly different colour. And these are kind of very light pink, I don't know if you can see that on there, they're not quite white. But yeah, you can like see how high everywhere's got now. That all that undergrowth there is up to about 
my chest, my shoulders, some of it as high as my head. So, yeah, there's loads of it. So it's really, it's really kind of, you can't really see in here now. It's really kind of private now. I'm just, just trying out one of my new lenses. Oh, it's coming out of frame. You really got to get close with this one, so any little movement. It's windy as well. <laughs> But this is my this is my macro camera thing. I've got a wide angle and a couple of others. So if you see a, quite a few shots on this one, this is why. Just trying it out. Now again, just taking a few more pictures. See the detail you get on this. It's a tiny, tiny little beetle. That uh, to keep it properly in focus. Beautiful colours. Uh, this time I think I caught, I think this is the Red Admiral butterfly I thought I'd seen before. Pretty sure it is one of my favourites. <laughs> Definitely loving these new lenses, like. Well, I'm going to make myself some sausages. Ugh. So far today I've been surviving off hobnobs. So that's one. Fire's a little bit hot. It is actually wow. Knuckle bundles. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Move that back a wee bit as well. They were burning already, like. There we go. Nothing too exciting for the night. I'll get some, uh, got some nice chicken thighs and that for, for tonight. Later. This is just a wee snackage for the now.
probably cut these down the middle just to make sure they're cooked. The fire is burning really hot. I think it's partly because of the wind. I was just feeling it. I'm going to have to probably get more firewood because I'm going to go through it quickly tonight, even with just a small fire. It's not that big fire. Really just a, a cooking fire and a little ambiance. Gonna give these sausages a wee, a wee cut. That's that done. Now, you'll notice a wee pot on there, so that's just the. Uh, I'm going to get some water boiling. And this is going to be for the amadou, which I've been. trying to sort now, sorry I'm just trying to cut another bit off it, which I've been trying to cut, uh, sort out now for uh, a couple of weeks, but I wasn't out so uh, I'm just cutting the last wee bit off it, there we go, oh, that's no good, uh, so yeah, that's the armadillo there, I've sort of sliced it up a bit thinner, Maybe it could have done me being a bit even thinner than that. Let's see. Rather than just drying it, someone told me, or well, I saw it on YouTube and that, that it is a good idea. boil it up with charcoal. So you need to boil it for, I think it's like a couple of hours. Uh, and then dry it out. But it makes it better in the end. It makes it more, I think it's softer and you know, like more malleable and that. And, uh, just generally better, so that's what we're going to try and do because I think I think I'd said in one of my last videos I was going to do it, um, and do you know what? I just I completely forgot. Um, so we're going to try it this time. Uh, I'm going to have these rolls. Okay. Right, 
flush these rolls off for a minute. Hopefully not burn them like I did last time. I get some munchies on the go. Because I am starving people. I think as well, once I finish this, I'm going to obviously build the fire up again, build it up around that pot a wee bit. Because I want that boiling for, I don't know, I think at least two hours, maybe a wee bit longer. We shall see. Almost done. Almost done. I'm starving. Can't wait. Do you see these, by the way, which I found here? I don't know where they come from, but someone's made a wee, wee set of bushcraft, I don't know, tongs? Chopsticks? They can't use chopsticks properly. I don't know if that was Carlisle when he was here, but... <laughs> Random. Just sitting here when I got here the day. go. Sausage roll served. So uh, I'll eat these and uh, I'll spare you the details. Say what you want about silky solid. It's definitely the best saw I've ever owned anyway. So that's the Amadou boiling, it's been boiling. Whoa, 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 Jesus Christ. Now I put my fire out. It's been boiling for a bit. Three hours now, something like that. So, hmm. that's it there. So, it feels a bit soft there, but it's. I don't know, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna. Try it now and see how it is. Just want to get the line out. And then what 
what I'm going to do I'm just going to just going to lay them out on this rock by the fire dry and, uh, well, see what happens I suppose There we go, so we'll leave them there now, just a waiting game. See uh see how they do. I'm not worried about import, I'm just gonna give it away because I wouldn't recommend eating ammo though, because it's probably not that nice to eat, but uh won't do you any harm. Get this fire going a wee bit again. And uh We'll get a nice bed of coals, gonna do some cooking next, I think. I'm looking forward to see how this works for this. I really hope I can you know, make it in a nice tender. I think I needed to cut it thinner, but I'll know for next time. Yeah, I'm just up the river a wee bit using another one of my, my lenses. It's a manual focus though. Pull it out of focus. So. Put it back in. A wee telephoto lens. Maybe catch a fish rising or something there. A couple rising. I don't know if you saw. Where is it? Yeah, that there. See the swirl? It's left over from one. There's at least two just in that wee pool. I was hoping there'd be some ducks or some. I know there's wee holes across the bank there that. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember the name of the bird, but they, they have little holes in the side of the bank. You see them flying in and out. But they're uh, not about, not that many insects. I thought they would be. And I want to test this out as well. I go up the river there. That's the lens. Let's see what that does with it. Yeah, zoom in quite a bit. See all the insects on the water, the trout are feeding now. See them bumping up and down, but didn't bring my fishing stuff today. So definitely no fishy fishies. River's a wee bit higher than normal. Yeah. Oh, sorry guys. Where'd they go? Oh, he's away around the corner. You shite. Come back around so I can film you. Oh, that's a pity that. Oh, it would have been good to film that. Just to test that out. Must be a camera shy duck. Trout rising there, huh? Whoa! Is that an otter? Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I just saw it swim. 
just in there. Right where I'm aiming now. So it's head. I'm positive that was an otter, that wasn't a mink. Definitely over there. Just went in by that root or whatever it is right there. Fish eyes in there as well. Got all the insects in the water now. I think he's gonna come back out. I was looking at the monitor and I didn't see him. And then when I looked up, just caught him just by the edge of the tree hanging against the water and then in. <laughs> I'm positive that was an otter, but. If you leave you there now, I'm going to turn this off and see if he comes back out anywhere, but I don't know. We'll see. And I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can hear me. There are some wee duck chicks coming round the corner there. Seen her about like she must be she must be somewhere. I see how close they come. Oh a tiny wee bit away from me now. Something like that. There's four of them there. <laughs> and they're wee kitties. I want to scare them though. Best thing for tracking. It's right in front of me. Oh, I think they've maybe noticed me now. They're away. Oh, the other way. Oh, they're way back across the river. Oh, maybe not. They're jumping for wee insects on them bushes here. On the hoods. <laughs> See that we do jumping. Must be feeding on wee insects down the bottom there or something, I don't know. Fish rising up the mental beside me, I know. dark against the backdrop so maybe they're not they're not noticing me so much. <laughs> There's so much 
watching it tonight. I just wish I'd got that water. I'll be back up here plenty. to get my gimbal and make sure it's like this nice and smooth oh. I'm going to have a bit of a tripod oh, there you are. three amigos, there's four of them there he is oh, oh. here you go Very far away from me at all. Yeah, well, that was cool seeing them, but uh, I'm gonna head back to camp. Try not to try not to scare them too much. I need to head down that way. So it'll be alright. They came from the other side of the river. They see me, they'll just scoot on across. <laughs> I just hope that mum's somewhere about because. I ain't seen her, man. Maybe that's them that landed around the corner. Maybe these wee ducks have came too far. So, gonna get some chicken on now. So I've got here some, it's just some chicken thighs, but I just opened the pack and uh, before I came out I've just sort of marinated it, so it's had time. Uh, all the flavours to get in there, that's what I'm looking for. It's had time for all the flavours to get in there. So hopefully, I'm going to have to be careful with this because I... Could do with a bit more height on this. That smells good, man. So I won't do, I won't leave it on for the whole cooking off it because it's going to take a little while, it's chicken, chicken thighs. I'm going to try and just cook them on the grill. Um, I think they're getting a bit burnt, I do have a little bit of tin foil in there so I could maybe, uh, maybe wrap them up, I don't know if it'll be enough for all that though. See. That is going to taste good. Yeah, we're still cooking, man. It's going to take a little while for these, but fat's coming out and it's causing a bit of a problem. I don't want too many flames hitting it. 
I just keep turning them, moving them. Should be alright. They smell awesome, like. Right? without being just higher really. Fire around. That should help, that's quite a wee way off.
There we go guys, that's the chicken ready. Got some rice with that. Still got a little bit of chicken there, but I don't think I'll eat that, but... Yeah, chicken's ready. I'm going to stoke that fire now and uh, just enjoy this. And then I think I'll be off to bed because I'm absolutely shattered. But yeah, this is going to taste good. It smells awesome. <laughs> Well guys, that's me in my hammock. I'm gonna get all settled in for the night. It's getting windy out there now, so I've kind of battened it all down and I guess we'll just wait. I'm not gonna leave fire burning all night, I don't need to, I'm just gonna let it go out. But um I suppose unless anything uh, crazy or exciting happens then um I'll see you guys all uh, all in the morning. All right. Good morning, everyone. I've woke up. It's um, quite windy now. Ah, <sighs> wind's picking up in that, so oh, I'll just be trying to get up in a minute and maybe get a quick coffee on. That'll be it. I'm still tired, eh? <laughs> Well, I'm up. <laughs> uh, yeah, the wind's picked up a lot. It's actually quite nippy out here now. So, I've got my coffee. I'm going to drink a wee bit of this. Wake up a wee bit and uh, just pack away, I think. Time to hit the road. Still dry though, so just windy. Yeah. Don't have much more filming I'm going to do because the wind keeps on picking up. I'll probably blow my bloody tripod over. But, uh... Oh my god. Keep you on the day, but I slept well. <laughs> That's a good sleep. I swear I sleep better in my hammock than I do in my bed at home. So yeah, time to get packed up. And we'll head off. Oh guys, yeah. Time to pack away. I think I'm going to do it the real bushcraft way. There we go. So. All tidied up, ready to go, fire's out. Uh, last thing I say, I suppose, is um, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing, thanks to all my new subscribers. Um, hopefully I'll be doing more videos in the future. Well, I will be doing more videos in the future, but I'm trying to get on a kind of schedule. Uh, so right now, you know, it'd be great if you hit the notification bell, because my schedule, it's not every single week necessarily, but you know, then you'll get notified. Um, yeah, and then any, any suggestions, anything that you guys would like to say, you know, maybe see me do, maybe think that would be cool to do, you know, uh, suggestions would be good. I'd like that. But, um, yeah, it's been an awesome camp, stayed dry, so I guess I'll see you in the next one. You go and find your chicks. I'm not going to hurt you. They're over there, I can hear them. On you go. On you go. Okay, I'll go this way, you go that way, yeah? On you go. I just saw this just leaving, I surprised her. But I can hear her chicks over there. So I just froze and let her go by. She's not. Yeah, I'll put you back just a wee second there. That was a, just leaving the camp. I stumbled across that pheasant. I don't think she noticed me, but... Um, I kind of just froze still, she looked at me for a wee bit, and then she just kind of chilled a little bit. <coughs> but I heard her chicks calling, she's got chicks in that grass somewhere. I just didn't want to scare her and that, I could hear the chicks, so I decided to cross the fence out, I don't want to walk up there from pardon me, and uh, end up standing on one of them, you know. Yeah, she's a well-finded, I'm but that was pretty cool. 
so loads of wildlife on this video, but uh, it's been a good one. So this one is definitely, <laughs> I'll, see, I'll see you in the next one, guys.